Alrighty, what's up everybody? Just wanted to uh, discuss a popular belief out there uh, that the majority of people believe and are wrong about. And it has to do with the idea that our taxes fund or pay for federal government spending, which if you think about it is not true because the dollars in existence today or any currency, whatever country you live in, they have to be printed out of thin air first and spent into existence in order for us to have the dollars to pay the tax. So it's it's a myth that our taxes pay for federal government spending. The spending actually comes first. Now, at the state level, that's different. You know, our taxes pay for firemen, teachers, cops within each state. But the federal level is different. They issue the currency, we're a currency user. So technically, it removes incomes from people when they pay federal taxes. I mean, hypothetically, the federal government can tax everyone, you know, collectively a trillion dollars. They could turn around and spend two trillion if they wanted to. Or they could tax a trillion, spend 500 billion, because they're not limited on the taxes they receive to spend. Because again, how does the money exist to begin with? It all comes from thin air. Or bank loans, which most of those are out of thin air, too. I mean, if someone's qualified for a bank loan, the banks will issue that loan. They don't have to have any reserves. So the loan creates the reserve. If someone qualifies for a $300,000 loan, voila, the banks issue it. Of course, they get money from the Federal Reserve, who can issue the credit or the money out of thin air. It's just that simple, people. So... Again, that's not to say the federal government should spend to infinity. That's stupid. You don't want to drive up inflation or a hyperinflation. But uh, as long as the spending can create real stuff that people can buy, you know, create, maintain, whatever. I mean, at the end of the day, we all have incentive to create stuff and make stuff. And that's to get paid in dollars, right? Where do dollars come from? Outside of the economy. Federal government. So they spend the money into existence, someone else spends it, someone else spends it, and so forth, and the money eventually winds up in your pocket and everybody else's. So again, regardless of which country you live in that has a central bank, all credit, all currency has to be created out of thin air. It's the only way anybody in the world can have a currency to pay the tax back. So that's how it works, and uh, it's, just, it's just common sense if you think about it. I mean, you look at military spending and social security spending that the federal government's doing it's a lot more money than what they're receiving from us in taxes where is all the money coming from simple thin air so again anybody who says that taxes pay for federal government spending is wrong as i've just mentioned obviously this video is very brief i could easily do a 20 25 minute video on the subject and i actually did but it was too long of a video to post, so I'm just trying to simplify it a little bit here. But look into it. What I say makes sense. It's just it's just simple to understand, right? So, <clears throat> again, under the gold standard, government would need to collect the gold, spend the gold out, collect the gold, spend the gold out. We're not under a gold standard. Right now, all credit, all currency, is just electronic entries on a keyboard that could be converted to paper, or paper can be deposited, which converts to digits. And these digits can never run out, nor can the paper money ever run out. Again, that's not to say they should print to infinity. There has to be a reason for their spending. And uh, that's just all there is to it. I mean, and two, as human population increases, so must the supply of money. I mean, it's just it just makes sense. So, and by the way, there's more things that cause a hyperinflation or inflation. It's not just money printing. I mean, the velocity in which money exchanges hands can drive up prices. Also, it doesn't matter how much money the federal government prints and spends. If people aren't spending and products aren't flying off the shelf, stores don't have incentive to raise prices, right? Why would they raise prices if the product is hardly being sold? So, again, that's a myth that printing money always or necessarily leads to inflation. Uh, also, too, you could say interest rates that the Fed creates, that could drive up inflation, drive up inflation because the cost to borrow money goes up, and that's reflected in the price of goods and services. So, 
Again, money printing itself doesn't always create an inflation, but even if it did, it's a lot better than a deflation, which you would get with a gold standard or a fixed money regime. So again, you gotta look at the pros and cons of things. In the end, the system is not perfect, and I understand there's a lot of corruption with it, but it works and it's been working, and the economy has grown since we got off the gold standard. So that's just all there is to it. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool how it all works, but. All right, guys, well, I guess I'll leave it at that. Like I said, there's a lot more I could talk about, but if I make this video too long, unfortunately, I won't be able to post it. So, all right, well, you guys have a good night. And if you have any questions, just feel free to comment below and I will try to answer those questions. All right, until next video, peace out.